What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. Yes, I figured out how they're covering some of their positions. Yes, first let's go to the Discord where people are discussing what's going on with Sundial. Then I'm going to back us up and we're going to talk about GME first. And then we're going to talk about how that split was supposed to affect the shorts, but it hasn't yet. Alright, so over in the Discord... We see that Christopher wants to know, so when does Sundial come back to trading today or tomorrow? Chris, according to uh, the notification we got, it could be one or the other. Okay, and I cannot buy or sell. Jamie makes a comment about the DTCC needing money, and then he says that you can sell on Sundial right now, don't know about buying. All right, well, I can't do either one, but that's not the point. Bumblebee says it takes... The broker's time to recalculate the positions after the splits, which is bullshit. I know that's what they, the bullshit they feed us, but it's bullshit. If they can do hypersonic trades at the speed of fucking light, then you could get this split shit straight. You just don't want to, but that's not the point. Bumblebee's still correct. That's what they tell us. Jamie want, uh, Chris wants to know, Jamie, the sell and buy button are both gone on Vanguard. Why they haven't even gave me my split on there yet? I still have thousands of Sundial right now. Then Jamie said that Vanguard must have a problem with their clearing house, and Vanguard is their own clearing house. Okay, let's talk about this. Right now, Sundial has been halted just like. GME was halted yesterday on Apex brokerages. All right, wherever Apex is, the uh, clearinghouse is where the breakdown's at. I've told y'all that in the beginning. If you remember and been following me, I said Apex is overloaded. They're fixing to be exposed. Do not change brokers. But there was another influencer out there that convinced everybody to do it. And it took the pressure off Apex, but the pressure on them is back. And that's what's going on right now. Apex brokerages are the ones that are removing the buy and the sell button. You can't do either one on some brokerages. On other brokerages, you can. All right, but you cannot buy any new ones. That means they're fixing the problem, number one. That means they don't need you buying any more synthetic naked guatemala whatever you want to call them do not complain about the buy buttons disappearing as long as your sell button stays there we're fine but the sell button is missing too at least on vanguard and on mine for a little while on weeble so what's going on i'm going to show you what's going on i'm going to show you how this stock split for gme was supposed to work and then I'm going to show you the data, and then we're going to talk about that. All right? So looking right here on Fintel, we can see that GameStop Corporation is at $32.48 a share, down a dollar fifty, or 4.4%. It has a short interest of how many? 13301000 379 now if you go back and you look at some of the videos from the past couple of days it's basically the same thing you know it hasn't moved so why when they did a four for one stock split why hasn't the shorts split also that's the first question because I did the math all right let's talk before the split all right, before the split, you had one share of GME, and it was worth $150, okay? Now, if you have 10 shares of GME, they're still worth $150. If you have 1,000 shares of GME, they were worth $150 a share before the split. The short interest on GME also was at 13,301,379 shares. All right. Now, if you did a four for one stock split, the new short interest on GME should be 
205,516 shares. Why? Because just like you split your share into four, you got four for one. Here you do the same thing. They got four for one of their shorts. They had to split it. And now they have 53205000 to cover. Okay? Legal short interest on GME. And if we flip over here to Fintel, you'll notice right here that on 713, there was 13,301,000 shares shorted on the 14th, 15th, 18th, 19th, 20. All these days, the short interest, the shares that are short, never changes. However, the days to cover do. Days are covered are in accordance to volume. And right here, on the 22nd, it was 4.92 days to cover. And on 722, when it split at the close of the evening, the short interest shares never changed, but your days to cover dropped, supposedly because of volume. All right. But here's the important thing, people, that you need to notice. All right. On 7. On 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, and 21, your short interest percent of the float is 2099, 20.98, 20.98, 20.98, 20.98, 20.98, 20.98, 20.98, 5.25. What? It dropped on 722. The short interest of the float dropped. 15%. Did you hear what I said? That on the 21st, before the split, the short interest of the float was 20.98. And the day of the split, close of business, it was down 15.7 something, 7.3. But it's down to 5.25 people. On the 25th, which was Monday, it hadn't changed. Notice these numbers aren't changing. Because what? They're exchanging all of their naked positions, I believe. These numbers are legal shares that are being traded, and this is starting to catch up to it. But it's interesting right here. There's 15% gone from Friday, and I know how they did it. Now, to explain how they are covering their GME naked positions, synthetic positions, however you want to call them. Uh, I'll go back to the Discord here where Chris and Jamie were talking. And they were talking about Sundial, but it applies to the GME. It says, Chris says, all, but all my other platforms I can sell or buy. That's important. Only on certain brokerages for in this case it's Apex brokerage firms, are restricting trading for one to two business days. All right? But all the other platforms are letting him buy or sell, they say. Then Jamie says, Moo Moo, you can sell, and he hasn't tried to buy. All right? And Chris said, I called Vanguard, and they said they sell clear. They do. And he says, it's interesting. Well, that's interesting that they say that. They haven't received the shares from the exchanges is all I come up with, and they are changing their names also. Okay, and I said, I know the answer to that. So here it is. We have to look at the chart. Now, over here on GameStop, they have fixed the price, which is 32.33, and it's down $1.65, and it's down 4.86%. But they fixed the chart too. It doesn't show the disparity that it showed yesterday. To see that, we have to go to Sundial. Watch this. Now, the Sundial split, we went from 30 cents, right, somewhere right here. Then, when the 10 for 1 split happened, it moved up from 30 cents up to $3. And then it's pulled back since then. But the important thing is this gap, people. All right, and it's the same thing with GME yesterday, only in reverse. Yesterday, GME's price was way up here traveling up here. Alright, then they did a four for one split which brought the price of the stock down. 
something like that and it's done the same thing here now how are they covering how are they getting away with what they're getting away with well it's very simple uh, just like he said over there in the clubhouse chat on our discord all right he has yet to receive his shares well yesterday he had shares of GME but they hadn't been placed into his account all right however on other brokerage firms the new price was trading at $32 a share and following but he couldn't take advantage of the split because the stock had been suspended so here's what's going on 10 shares of GME waiting on split to be added to his or her account apex suspends trading for one or two business days during these two business days they can buy shares on the open market not for a hundred and fifty dollars a share for thirty two dollars a share and then when GME reopened they were able to put this right amount of shares into the account it looks something like this that really doesn't say nothing except for the fact that if Apex did not have the extra three shares to give its account holders then they suspended it for two days gathered up the shares they needed at $32, placed them into the accounts, and now you're safe. All right. But that's just what was going on on the surface, people. What really is going on is if we look again here at the Fintel. All the way up to 721, we're holding at a 20.98% interest of the float. Then the day of the split, it fell to 5.25 showed y'all that in the beginning but this number never changed us but we'll talk about that in the next video right now if nobody else has made the video explaining how the short interest float percent of the float is dropped 15 percent i'll do the video when i wake up love y'all be blessed see you in the next video